Good morning from Taipei, it's Mike Chen. Over the last couple days, oh, I've been really eating a 7-Eleven stuff. Time to change all that. We're going to a seafood market. It's probably the seafood market of seafood markets here in Taipei. I, you just gotta see it. Here we are. We are in the front of Addiction Aquatic Development. This is a massive fish market and it's a great uh, place to find produce. There's a bunch of little food stalls on the outside. This is food paradise, a seafood paradise. And it's just massive. Oh, today I'm gonna utilize the seafood strategy. I see food, I eat it. All right, so this market is separated into different parts. When you walk in the beginning, this is the seafood market. So this is where all the seafood is laid out. You see a ton of king crab, lobster, all sorts of clams, gooey ducks, crabs, it's all laid out in these tanks. And the thing about this is it's so clean. When you walk around, it doesn't smell like a Chinese seafood market, which is very important. And you can order whatever you want, and then they're gonna cook it for you. And there's also different sections to this complex. So you have the restaurant parts where you can get shabu, where you get your seafood grilled. You have the standalone picnic table parts where you can have sushi, sashimi. We're gonna try it all. So you buy whatever you want from the market, then you come to these like little standing only tables and they really only have this kind of stuff before you get into the restaurant area because they don't want you to linger here. They want you to eat, they want you to get out. And of course right now it's, it's a lot of concern about the virus. So wherever you're going, um, they're spraying you with a hand sanitizer, which is important, which is good. And this is so neat. So you sit, you stand in this little table and basically if you get the right spots, they're cooking your food right in front of you. And you can order whatever you want, sashimi, you can get soups, and all the food is prepared. You know it's fresh because they're getting the seafood directly from the tanks. I do want to say, it's not cheap, okay? It is not cheap. You can definitely find cheaper seafood probably elsewhere in Taipei, but it's just such a cool environment. And you know what you're getting is just absolutely fresh, it's clean, and you get so much selection here. So for me, it's definitely worth coming here. Also, cash only. And trust me, you'll need a lot of cash. All right, typically, don't eat a lot of sushi, don't eat a lot of raw fish, but here, everything is so fresh. Gotta at least try a couple pieces. Scallop. It's one of my favorite things. Raw oh, scallop is so creamy. Slightly torched flounder. Whoa. I got goosebumps from eating that. Well, oh, I can't believe how good that is. I'm still like a, a sushi newbie. So I'm still surprised by a lot of the texture and the flavor of the fish and seafood. Like flounder itself, it's already a very soft fish, but man, that thing is just melted like nothing. Completely fell apart with that slight smoky flavor from the torch. Mmm. I've got a chopstick in my hand, so I can't really clap for it. So, wow. Torch beef with a little bit of crispy garlic on top. That's really good sushi rice. I feel like the best sushi rice is like, when you bite down to it, the rice is not really what you're tasting. You're just really about the fish. So this is my favorite fatty tuna. Wagyu of the sea. Uh, of all the things I've had in, the, in my very, very abbreviated sushi life. My all time favorite. The way that thing melts and just leaves your tongue in this like soothing smooth, creamy, velvety state. It's hard to believe anything in the ocean can just do that for you without being cooked. I notice I've been like eating a lot more uni lately, like better quality ones. And I notice I really like seafood. It has a very nice creamy texture. Like when I first had it, I don't think I had a good piece. Kind of tastes like the ocean kind of hacked a loogie in my mouth. It was really briny and fishy and not good. Clean uni was a thing of wonder.
This clam soup is very light. I think I would have liked something with more flavor, but if you're just really into a nice, sweet clam flavor. Wow, actually, I took a bite of the clam. I just like the candy of the sea. Ah, the broth is so light. Just a sprinkle of ginger and spring onions bring the clam meal. Bouncy, crunchy. It's like tasting a gentle sea breeze. It really depends on what you're looking for. If you want something that's really aggressively seasoned, this is not it. This is just subtlety. All right, that was perfect. That's just round one. Let's go get some more seafood. When you walk outside this area right here, this is where you sit down. You can have hot pot, you can have the grilled seafood. Usually, like the hot pot places are, are reservation only, but we can get a seat. You can get whatever you want, fresh grilled seafood, fish, crab, shellfish, whatever, A5 Wagyu, whatever you want. Again, only caveat, cash only. So you gotta make sure you got enough. And if you get confused, here's a little map. So the sushi bar, that's where we're at, the seafood bar. And here is the restaurants. So this is available for reservation. I recommend if you do come here, get a reservation. All right, after you grab a seat, they take you to look at the ingredients and so you can select what you want. So basically, um, we're going through the selections. We got some clams, uh, shellfish. We got some regular fish. The regular fish is not, I mean, it's all frozen. So really, you just want to focus on the shellfish. Everything here is grilled using charcoal. All right, so you sit down and they bring over this, this stove that has these hot stones on top and your skewer sits on top of that. So it's like, it's keeping the skewers warm and you're sitting outside. This will be really horrible in the summer. I can't emphasize enough, sitting by two like Burning pots because I got a miso soup uh, pot pot as well. I would not come here in the summer. I, I'll tell you this right now. But this is perfect for right now. It's a little chilly. It's cool. Sitting by a couple little couple heated stoves, eating fresh seafood. Doesn't get much better than this. Fresh charcoal roasted scallops. It just permeates sweetness. This thing is so sweet. It could live next door to you ask you for a cup of sugar, and you will give this thing all the sugar in your cupboard and invite it in for tea. That is so soft. Melt as soon as it touches your tongue. Tinder scallop with that great charcoal smoke. We're off to a good start, folks. This is tuna tin. I don't think I've ever had this before. Oh. Oh, heck yeah, baby. Mmm. We got everything I love when it comes to meat or fish. It's from the tuna, and it's fatty. There's part of it where it's gelatinous. That's what I love about eating tinder in general. It's got a great chew to it, and of course, that smokiness that comes with everything that touches that charcoal. I don't even hear it. It has a slight little crunch. I never had this, but this is amazing. Get this when you come here. Roasted squid. Wow, this thing's just like a chicken gizzard. It's not overly seasoned, so you can still get that nice seafood flavor. Check out this grilled piece of cod. Oh my God, snowy white flesh, perfectly cooked on top. The skin is just the tiny bit crunchy. Perfectly, perfectly cooked. Oh. Please get this when you come here. This meat. I mean, any tenderer, you might just have to start bawling in front of it. Oh my God. Melts in your mouth. And they grilled it with a little bit of wine, which just accents the supremely naturally sweet flavor of the fish. And also this thing was slightly covered in miso before it hit the grill. And you can taste that deep fermented Soy flavor. This is one of the best squeezer of fish I've had in Taiwan, for sure. Right here, seriously, get this when you come. What I love about this is, on one end, it's really nicely meaty fish. The other, look at this. This is all fat on the other end. Oh, fat and all that gelatinous goodies right here. Oh man. 
I think that's my favorite part. That is just gooey, lip smacking good. And the skin, slight crispy, perfectly cooked. All you need, splash of lime. That thing will definitely bring a smile to your face. This is must get here. Little clams cooked in sake. Oh, look at this, sake, garlic, scallions. We got two different sizes of clams, both cooked in sake. This is great. This is gonna be so sweet. It smells so sweet. It looks so sweet. It tastes This thing tastes insane. It's just clams cooked in sake. That's all it is. And this thing is just pure sweetness. Mm. Wow. Every piece is a little crunchy. Again, it's just that natural ocean candy flavor of the clams. That's where you taste them. This is called a bread crab. It's cooked in butter, garlic, scallions. And this right here, this is the best part of the crab. The tamale. All that guts and brain and the innards. Right here. This is what you should be eating. Best part of the crab. Zip that in a little sauce. That's some good miso. Trust me guys, anytime you get a nice big crab like that, go for the innards. Most flavorful, most umami filled part of the crab. This thing definitely make you work for it. And again, as good as the crab meat is, I'm all about the minners. Abalone looks like it went through a house fire. Look at this. It's like burnt. Hopefully it still tastes good. I had a little rubbery. Kind of like eating a slightly burnt rubber band. Not the best seafood on the plate, for sure. Oh man, every time. I eat abalone now. I was so hooked on it when I went to Jeju in South Korea. I always order it, but never lived up to what I had back there. Ah, oh, it's kind of bad. I gotta chase it with a roasted garlic. Yeah, don't suggest the abalone when you come here. Apparently this is A5 Wagyu beef. Amazing. Oh yeah, they cook this perfectly. A little char outside sealed in all the juices. One bite, all oh, comes crushing out. That definitely made up for the abalone. Oh man, Let's just look at this sea monster. This thing is all meat. The reason I love getting giant prawns is because the bigger prawn you get, the bigger prawn head you get. Wow. The brains, all that stuff that's here, that's where Flavor Town resides. As soon as you suck on or bite into a prawn head, you'll know one thing. Zombies, they know what they're doing. Really do. And this thing, peel off the little prawn legs. No, crispy prawn chips. And especially like bigger prawns, the little legs, got some meat to it. And this thing is just roasted with some salt on the outside. Oh, it roasts so well. If you want to just eat the shell with a little crispy texture, I recommend you do that. It's not as juicy as I thought it was going to be, but there's no denying how sweet that meat is. Last thing I ordered. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is a salmon head miso soup. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. Oh, I can see the teeth right there on this baby. Teeth and a partial eyeball I got here. Oh yeah. I think they just made the miso soup and they put the fish in. I mean, it's still good because I love miso soup and I love fish and the fish is really tender and nice, but I thought it was gonna be like, like stewed fish soup with the miso. That would have been insane. Cause you got like a fish head, which is like one of the greatest ingredients for stewing in the world. I think they missed out here. I mean, it's still good because miso soup is good. Fish is good. The meat on the fish head, especially the cheek right here, that meat, that's some tender stuff. Most tender, gelatinous part of the fish. But the soup just tastes like miso. This is like miso soup with nice tender pieces of fish inside. Again, still good, but I think if they stewed it with the fish, or maybe they did, I just don't taste much of the fish flavor inside this miso soup. It's such a shame. Not a good opportunity here. Could have been something magical. Instead, it's just something that's okay. All right, gotta eat up because this is gonna be a surf and turf day. 
lunchtime, all seafood tonight, we're going for beefy lamy hot pot. You've seen this before. I'm going back. My favorite hot pot place in Taipei. You could have some warm soup in your stomach before uh, walking around in the rain. This is another one of them uh, sugar, brown sugar bubble tea places. Ooh, it's also a tea place next door. It's like matured red tea. And apparently they're, they're saying it's like really good if you just ate something fatty and greasy, which I did. I'll grab a tea. Delicious. Mm. This is gonna be my go-to place for tea now. Oh, it's really delicious. Just a little bit of sugar, a little bit of ice. I love tea because I eat a lot of meats, obviously, a lot of cheese, a lot of, you know, stuff high in fat. And tea in Chinese is called cha, and it's named that because it came from the Chinese word cha, which means to scrub. So drinking tea really helps to cleanse and scrub your insides, especially after a fatty meal. So, drink your tea, people. Last time I was in Taipei, I had this all-you-can-eat spicy hot pot. Best I've ever had. Gotta head back and do it one more time. That milk tea, calpis, plum juice, green tea. All right, got the split pot. Definitely, you have to get the M7 beef from Australia. For soup base, got spicy and nummy, of course, and also sour cabbage and fatty pork. Ah, it's nice and sour. It's spicy and nummy. You see tons of blood, some herbs in here. Oh, oh, that is spicy. That's what I look about this place. They don't kid around. They bring it to you, and everything they bring you will make you sweat. Meat is coming. This is my favorite, the A7 Wagyu. So this is Australian beef. You have to pay about 200 uh, Taiwanese dollars more per person to get this. I highly recommend it. So this is like a different array of pork and beef. You gotta get every single kind of beef on the menu. All the fatty beef, these are all choice meats. This is how you get your money's worth. Let's do this. This is the best one on here. It's a little lean, but this is a tender cut. You want to cook this for about seven seconds, and that is good to go. It's really lean, but we got a good beef flavor here. My favorite course is the fatty beef. The reason I love this place, the meat quality is so good. Oh, this is the best one. The choice ribeye is the best cut. It's even better than this like M7 Wagyu. You now I'm kind of debating whether I should have paid the extra 200. Nah, you always pay. If there's an upgrade to be had on all you can eat hot pot, you do it. The first part of hot pot, in the beginning, what you're eating, just get all the meat you can. At least 50% of enjoying hot pot is all about the sauce. I'll link you guys to a video on my uh, sauce recipe for hot pot. There's so many things to eat and drink here. Gooey duck. One of my favorite things. It looks horrible. It's so good. This is sea cucumber. I never had that on a hot pot before. All right, I was wondering about the uh, M7. I got a second water. Check this out. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Snowy color compared to, look at the difference here. Big, big difference. That's gonna be awesome. Oh. So much better. Wow, a lot more fat, a lot more marbling. But I gotta say, 
especially still this chuck eye roll. Look at that wing come here. Time for my favorite part of the hot pot, the egg. Take a spoon, put it on the bottom, crack an egg, let it go in. Let this cook for about three, four minutes. Do it right, it's gonna be amazing. Best is eat the gooey soft boiled egg with some meat or noodles. Oh yeah, baby. It's like the buffet gods have opened the heavens and put it into your mouth. So creamy. There's so much flavor has penetrated through the egg. All those ingredients, all that great soup base. You're gonna fall in love with the egg all over again. Do that trick next time you eat hot pot. Guarantee you, people will love it. Spicy beef noodles. If you ever love noodles, hot pot noodles are the best. They soak up all that great flavor from the broth. The best time to actually cook that soft boiled egg is right when the noodles are going in. Cook the egg, cook some noodles, drizzle some of that great yolk on top of it. That's the right way to finish off a hot pot meal. After this though, you gotta get some dessert. This place has amazing dessert. Got a lot of pudding, mochi, pies, cheesecake. Best stuff though, attack the Haganaz ice cream. Also, they got Move and Pick. This is amazing ice cream as well. Uh, banana, cappuccino, mango, Hokkaido mochi. This mochi ice cream is amazing. That's a great way to end it all. All right, I gotta go do something else that all Asians love. Of course, I'm talking about karaoke. Seafood, papa, karaoke. That's like a typical, typical happy Asian day. Karaoke place in Taiwan, look at this. Full on restaurant menu. Jeez, that's everything. It's like a freaking Taiwan Applebee's. Yeah. Wow, pizza and a karaoke. All right, you guys don't want to hear this, trust me. I'm trying to help you out. Thank you all so much for watching. So we eat again. T-shirt.